I've been interested in, in these matters ever since, um, well, the point where I can say I most definitely became interested in these matters is after I read John Michel's view over Atlantis in 1976. And um, it was a sort of experience of the sort of scales falling from the eyes. And suddenly I looked at everything in a, in a, a very, uh, a very different sort of way. And uh, ironically, it was just at that time that um, Christian O'Brien's stuff about the um, Wandlebury Ring Loxodrome was in the press. And uh, that's, of course, tied in with all this. And I was fascinated by that subject. And it's very ironic that I should have heard nothing more about uh, that uh, until running into Edmund Marriage last year at the Megalithomania conference in, in, in Glastonbury. And it appeared that um, Christian O'Brien and his wife had been operating just down the road um, uh, for years and years and years without me aware of them. And the even odder thing is um, that uh, um, uh, Barbara O'Brien, uh, one of her sons, is someone I've known since 1973 but because he, uh, I think, has little interest in what his uh, mother and stepfather uh, were involved in, I had no idea that there was a connection. So uh, it's a funny small world. But we're in a very interesting position here because, um, uh, as has been uh, no doubt uh, spoken of, the uh, Michael and Mary line that run across uh, this country uh, in the south at its, bro at its broadest point, um, uh, meet at the Abbey in Bury St Edmunds and then um, uh, open out to literally embrace the village of, of Ruffham. So we feel very connected here with the, um, the sort of uh, uh, geomantic way of uh, looking at the, at the landscape. And even though um, possibly uh, there's not so much to easily see as there is at uh, uh, Glastonbury around the Somerset levels, the uh, the feeling is very strong of that old um, that old energy, and uh, hopefully uh, this conference and the networking that's taken place as a result will mean that a lot more research will happen around here into these things, and that's going to be extremely exciting. It's it's uh, it's, it's quite strange how it developed because. Um, um, there was a fire over in those buildings in 1990 and um, before the fire it was a useful space but it was really kind of workshops and um, storage and um, uh, suddenly the fire enabled uh, um, something much much better to happen and um, a, a, a wonderful space there was created which seemed it seemed logical to get some different things happening so over the last sort of 10 years or so, um, it's been used for a succession of, you know, workshops, uh, conferences, seminars, parties, um, all sorts of things have happened there. And um, it's, it's been very good for um, uh, getting things going in the area. Well, I must say, um, apart from the uh, regular things that sort of happen every month with uh, uh, workshops and meditation groups and um, uh, history groups and things like that that meet, um, uh, that's all that's certain. But uh, I think there's every chance that uh, this event will happen again. And also some people have talked about a similar sort of event with a more local focus which also is possible, so we might do something in the, in the spring and again something in the, in the autumn next year. The easiest thing is to uh, contact uh, Ruffham conferences through the office and the, um, the phone number there is 01359 uh, 270524. Hopefully with this developing we shall have a website before too long and uh, once that happens then people will be able to get much more information much more quickly.